Welcome to the Rink Report. It's being brought to you by Tell Ohio Credit Union. I'm Bob McKelley, get alongside of Jody Shelley, and the Blue Jackets back at it today, taking on the Ottawa Senators for the first time in two years. And Jody, the good news is reinforcements draw back into the lineup here tonight. The Blue Jackets are getting defenseman Vladislav Gavrikov and forward Cole Sillinger back off the COVID list, two guys that they're going to use extensively here tonight. Yeah. You know what? It's hard to see guys leave the lineup, but the Blue Jackets had some players rise up when players stepped out. Always great to get guys back, especially these two. Gavrikov on the back end, he plays big minutes. He's hard to play against. He understands the game in the defensive zone, and it's just really a reliable piece back there. And then up front, Cole Sillinger, I mean, he's 18 years old, but, yes, he's an impact guy. He's a guy that understands how to play. He has a presence in the defensive zone. He's very good in, in the, on the dot. And tonight against the young Ottawa Senators team, he'll be jumping and excited to get back. And this also gives Brad Larson options because Alexander Texier has been playing the center position because Sillinger was out. So now you can go with Texier. You could leave him there if you want to on the line, or you can put him back on the wing where he's been very effective. Yeah, he's much better on the wing. And it's just something that, you know, he, he started the season on that top line with Vor check in line a he admits too much thinking not having a lot of fun gets on the wing with Corrali and and uh, Robinson early and he gets straight ahead hockey and he, he understands how to play that game he uses his speed and was one of the best players if not the best player for the Blue Jackets at the time that, that he was taken out of the lineup so I like him on the wing I think those four centers they have right now are fine it, it really slots it in and those forward lines look better with Cole Sillinger and the rest of the guys down the middle. Let's talk about Sean Corrali for a second here because when the Blue Jackets need a steady hand on the ice, Sean Corrali is the guy they go to more times than not. Yeah, and he's a guy, if you watch him out there, he, he's, he understands his role very well. And he understands that defensive zone draws, especially on the left side, he needs to get out there and win that draw, get the puck in the offensive zone, and then go to work from there or get a faceoff so that some offensive players can get out. I like him. I love that he got the opportunity to play in the second line last game with that absence of Sillinger. I think he needs to get rewarded. Him and Peak both got rewarded playing higher in the lineup. They both did impressive jobs and very similar in their games. They know their role. They're defined. And that's a big part of being a teammate and a great teammate is knowing what you bring to the table and do it the best you can. All right, let's talk about the Ottawa Senators. This is a young team. They're in a rebuild right now, and they're trying to make great strides. Last night they were in Washington. They built a 2 to nothing lead before Alex Ovechkin scored two times in the third period, and then they turned the puck over and lost in overtime. But, Jody, Brady Kachuk is the captain of this team. He leads this team, and he is just one of a lot of young fast forwards on this club yeah there's a lot to like about Brady Kachuk he's 22 years old he's six foot four he's a guy that plays physical he can score goals you watch him he tries to get uh, be an agitator out there so he's an in-your-face style big power forward that top line with Norris him and Batherson they're all 22 23 years old and they're leading the, this team in scoring so it tells you they're looking to the future but hold on this team works hard they worked hard against the Pittsburgh Penguins Penguins didn't think they played well but you got to credit the Ottawa Centers because they four check hard they back check extremely hard they have a work ethic under their coach dj smith and look for them to bring it here tonight could be a good test for the blue jackets all right that'll do it for the rink report it's been brought to you by tell credit union for jody shelley i'm bob mccallaghan enjoy the game